Good morning children. Once again, we have play to learn as a subject. And the topic we are going to do today is basic stitching. The last topic we had done in play to learn children was how cloth is made from cotton, that is from the cotton plant. Today we shall learn about the different types of cloth and what can be made using that cloth. So before that, let us visit a cloth center or a cloth store or a cloth shop. The meaning is the same. It's a place where cloth or in other words, we say materials are sold. So here we have one cloth store where you can see there are different colored and different types of materials being sold. Let us see the different kinds of cloth. So we have introduction to different types of cloth. The first one what you can see here is the cotton cloth or the cotton material. Here there are two types of cotton material. One is the self colored and one is a printed one. You can see some small flowers on them. Now let us learn about the texture and quality. Texture means when you feel it. How does the cloth feel and what sort of quality it is? So the texture and quality of cotton cloth is soft, warm and absorbent. That is, it absorbs water, it absorbs sweat. Now let us see the uses of the cotton cloth. Cotton cloth is used to make towels. We all wipe our body dry using a towel after a bath. Then what we have here is a dhoti. Now dhoti is worn from the waist below as you can see in this picture. So this is a cotton dhoti. We also get saris, cotton saris. Cotton blanket. We get cotton clothes, bags, caps. So you see children, from the cotton cloth we get different things. We can stitch. Some of these are stitched. Some of them are prepared to form whatever we want. For example, the tal, the dhoti, the sari. They are all prepared in that way. Our clothes are stitched. Now let us move on to another type of cloth. Here we have silk. See if you look at it, you can see it has a shine. And there are other two cloths which are similar to silk. Similar means somewhat same, not exactly the same. What is that? One is the velvet which is also soft and shiny and the next one is satin. Now children look at all these three types of cloth that is silk, velvet and satin. You will see that all three of them have got shine and they are also soft. So let's see their texture and quality. They are soft and shiny as you can see them here. Now let us see the uses, what can be stitched or what can be made using these materials or cloth. Well, we can make saris, silk saris, satin saris. Then we can also have dresses, silk, satin dresses, velvet dresses as you can see in this picture. Also satin silk shirts so these are some of the clothes that are made using silk velvet and satin you get some more things but we have just covered a few of them the next cloth is woolen woolen cloth children is made out of wool and we get wool from the sheep skin so here we can see there are two types of woolen material. 
one is the soft type and one is the rough type so now let us see the texture and quality woolen cloth can be soft rough and warm woolen material or woolen cloth keeps us warm so do you know when we use them well yes we use them in winter in winter it's cold so we use woolen clothes to keep us warm in winter now let's study its uses with woolen material with wool we can make a sweater prepare a sweater a muffler which is worn around the neck a shawl which once again we can use it around the neck around the shoulder depending on the way you want to cover yourself socks which we wear to keep our feet warm we also have blankets woolen blankets which we use to cover our bodies when we sleep so that we are warmed up from the cold that is around in winter once we have bought the material we want we go to the tailor here you can see he is a tailor and that tailor stitches the clothes for us now let us see what things a tailor uses what are the different things a tailor uses as you can see is already sitting on a machine a sewing machine so this is one of it a sewing machine which is a very important tool for every tailor a tailor needs a sewing machine to stitch apart from the sewing machine these are some of the things what a tailor uses there are scissors measuring tape threads needles thimble buttons etc now what is a thimble let us see what is a thimble a thimble looks like this can you see that it's cone shape like a glass it looks it is worn on the finger so that the prick of the needle doesn't hurt you it is to protect your finger from the prick of the needle which is pointed and may hurt the tailor so some of the tailors use a thimble now the activity for today is doll making let us first see the things you will need to prepare a doll the first thing you will need is a handkerchief a ball a small ball thread colors preferably paints and some decoration items like you have here whatever is available with you children you can use that now here we have the steps to make a doll using a handkerchief so children follow the steps and complete the doll this is in your play do learn book if you have any other idea of preparing a doll using cloth or a handkerchief you can prepare it in that way so complete this activity children and upload your work thank you